Hello, dear ladies and gentlemen, and I'm glad to see you all here today on our regular webinar devoted to the system of channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. Let me remind you that, that this webinar is based on the works of our expert and one of the, our Vedapal's team specialists, reflexologist and specialist in traditional Chinese medicine, Sergei Kasinsev. And all materials that will be presented today, including PowerPoint presentation, some data, skins, and etc. It all was provided by our expert. My name is Anastasia, and I'm here today to voice uh, these ideas and thoughts on uh, the heart channel. I hope that you like today's webinar on the heart channel with all your heart and soul. So please feel free to ask any questions if you have some. And let's start our webinar. First of all, today we are going to discuss heart channel itself, its main characteristics, projection area and functional use, as well as power points of the heart channel and uh, recommended methods of passing of this channel. It is the fifth channel in the big circle of energy circulation. And uh, its Chinese name sounds like Shou, Shou, Yin, Xin, Xin. And it can be translated into English as uh, Hand, Shou, Yin of the Heart. Today we are going to talk about its course and uh, as well as about the course of uh, tendus muscular meridian which is uh, similar to it. You can see it now on your screen. But we'll do it a bit later. Now let's go on. And first of all, you can see on your screen the scheme of six harmonies. And according to this scheme, this channel belongs to the deepest level in this system. According to the rule of six harmonies, our heart channel is connected to the kidney channel. And we should say that these two channels are basic channels for all our life-sustaining activity. And as it is the deepest level, then in case if any external pathogenic factors get through five previous energetic levels, then uh, a person, a patient, will have a very serious, severe illnesses. So in case um, when such uh, disorders occur, a really intensive care is necessary because it's necessary to restore the general healthy condition of the body. And all our body works to protect this deepest level of energy because it should be safe, it should be okay. And if it's okay, then all our body um, is protected. That's why all parts of our body send energy to protect this energetic level, Shao Yin level. Let me remind you that this channel belongs to the in channels. And you may remember that all our inner organs can be divided according to in yang scheme. So if we are talking about in organs, then it will be about all dense organs. Dense or solid, you can say, or in Chinese tradition, it sounds as jian organs. Also, you can call such uh, organs um, parenchymal, parenchymal organs. To parenchymal organs belong such organs as our brain, liver, spleen, um, some pancreas, adrenals, 
prostate and dervice. So, parenchymal organs are all organs that uh, consist of a uh, cell mass. And according to the yin yang scheme, it will be about yin organs. Our channels, our heart channel belongs to the fire element. And according to the yin yang rule, the heart channel is connected to the small intestine channel. According to Ayurvedic scheme, heart meridian uh, corresponds to pitta dosha. And uh, it works together with the small intestine meridian because small intestine meridian also corresponds to pitta dosha, according to Ayurveda. The heart channel uh, works at the maximum of its activity in the following period. It is approximately uh, starting at 11 a.m. and uh, lasts up to 1 p.m. So you can see that the midway, uh, the center of activity of our channel lays at noon. It corresponds to midday. And let me remind you that midday is the most possible yang time. So it's a time of maximum yang energy. Here are main characteristics of a heart channel. And uh, here European and uh, Eastern tradition um, agree about the, this channel and about its role. It uh, takes the central role in both systems, as in European, uh, so in uh, Eastern one. And you can see on the screen, sometimes it's uh, even called a ruler of a body. Sure, all of us know that our heart, as an anatomical organ, works as a pump. And our heart pushes our blood. But uh, according to... Chinese traditions, our heart is also a house of a Shen spirit. And this Shen spirit influences our emotions and our nervous activity and also controls a lot of functions in our body. Not only physiological, but also energetical and psycho-emotional levels. Uh, that's why it's very important organ, very important system, and uh, it's one of the reasons why it is called a rule of the body in China. Biological active points of this system can be used uh, in many, many different uh, diseases and disorders, especially if uh, we are talking about uh, some uh, psychosomatic disorders. By the way, don't forget that uh, you can use Meridian Scheme in our VedaPulse device when you need just to check your you know, visual, your visual uh, diagnostic of a person. For example, you are meeting patient and you are making some visual scanning and then um, you just like to compare your notice, for example. Then you may watch uh, whether this or that Meridian uh, suffers from a lack of energy or probably if there is an excess of energy in particular meridian, all this information you may find in meridian scheme. About uh, each of the 12 main meridians uh, and, and the heart channel is just uh, one of these uh, main channels and it's also represented in our software. 
if we are talking about uh, the heart channel, then you can see it influences our blood. But uh, blood, it's not just a fluid in our vessels. It's the basic of all our life-sustaining abilities. Because all nutrient materials are bring into different parts of our body for the blood and it's also exactly the blood that is responsible for gas exchange in our organism. So you can see that uh, all essential parts of our life they contact with our blood. And uh, blood is the brightest uh, manifestation of in system in our body. It uh, brings uh, nutrition to our body and uh, it uh, sustains our health. So uh, this channel, heart channel, affects our cardiovascular system. Also it affects uh, our nervous system and emotional state. And uh, talking about some practice, we should mention that uh, according to Sergei Kasinsev's view, uh, mostly patients have uh, some uh, lack uh, of energy in this channel and uh, it is often accompanied by some excessive emotions. It means that uh, the heart channel has not enough of energy and cannot to sustain equilibrium uh, with this Shen spirit. It is connected to the center of our body and to the central line of our body. And if uh, this Shen spirit cannot be in the center and cannot uh, be in the equilibrium, then it will go right or go left. In this case, emotions of, emotions of a patient will go out of control. So it's traditional uh, Chinese view to how our heart channel works with this Shen spirit. This channel opens through the tongue and if we would be talking about some patients with a blood stroke or brain attack then we should mention often such patients suffer also from a deviation of tongue position uh, to a particular side uh, and it is connected also to their heart channel. Uh, the ability to use the tongue and the speech itself depend more on the lung channel, but at the same time, uh, even in ancient China, people noticed that in cases with some uh, expressed uh, disorders of uh, blood circulation, Uh, such uh, deviation of tongue position can occur and uh, um, it is uh, connected exactly to the um, condition of the heart channel. In a norm our tongue should be um, of light pink color without any congested shades uh, and it will mean that uh, we got a good uh, blood circulation and our psycho-emotional condition is also um, just in a norm. Mirror of this channel is the complexion. And sure, uh, it depends on the type of a person's constitution and it depends on the um, individual features of a person that different people can have uh, different shades. 
uh, in their faces. But at the same time, uh, the most important is uh, the point if there is any disorder in the energy of the heart channel, then the color of the face in the lower, middle and upper parts will be different. For example, a person can have a red forehead, a black eye rim and a pale lower part of the face. So this, this is usually called face flame and it means that there is too much of yarn energy in the upper part of the body and some relative lack of in energy in the lower part of the body. But sure, uh, this energy level should be uh, even uh, without some um, imbalances. And as well as uh, color of our face uh, should be even and uh, without some expressed shades. And pay attention. It's not a rare case that red or reddish color of uh, the patient's face can be connected exactly to the cardiovascular diseases. Talking about taste, we should mention bitter taste. Talking about emotions, we should mention joy and fun. All emotions should be manifested uh, in a moderate level. And even if we are talking about such a good positive emotions as joy and fun, like here, uh, you should remember that there shouldn't be some excessive moments. Like, for example, even if, it, even if the emotion is positive, but if but it is excessive or for example it is too it is too long term emotion it just doesn't stop for a long time when it will be no good for a person in this case we should say about some uh, psychological imbalance first of all and then as well as it is connected uh, to our body afterwards this disorder will appear in our physiological level that's why it's important to pay attention to all mental um, peculiarities of a person Also, you can see mental manifestation of a heart channel is love and sociability. It is not love as some relationships between genders, but it means most, mostly the feeling which is uh, unselfish and uh, all forgiving. It is love which means feeling when we appreciate all our universe around us and we are ready to support this universe and all its manifestations just uh, for the sake of its uh, being. Now we are coming to the biological active points of the heart channel and first of all we are going to talk about main points. about points uh, of element in the element, uh, an analgetic, low and more, and shoe points. And we should mention that this channel is quite short. It includes only nine biological active points. Most of them we are going to discuss today. Hello, mm, would you please uh, write on chat, can you hear me, because uh, I had just some problems to server connection, so if sound is okay, please let me know. Okay, thank you very much. Now we can continue. Uh,
You can see now on your screen main points of the heart channel and um, for example point number nine belongs to the wood element it is shoe point number one and it is located at our fingertips it will be tonic point for this channel the next point is point number eight and uh, it will be a bit uh, next to the point number nine from our fingertips it belongs to a fire element and it is called element in the element point point number seven belongs to the earth element it will be a sedative point for the heart channel it is the third point from our fingertips and it belongs to yuan category it means that it manages our pre-celestial inherited energy of a heart channel point number four connected to the metal element point um, number three is connected to the water element Point number six is an algetic point, and point number five, it is also low point. It is connected uh, to the yuan point of the small intestine channel, and you can see now on your screen, it is marked as EG four. It means that it is uh, point number four on the small intestine channel. You should remember that Mo and Shu points are always diagnostic points. And uh, talking about uh, the heart channel, should mention that Mo point is located on the anterior middle meridian. It will be point number 14. And Shu point is usually is located on the channel of uh, urinary bladder. It will be biological active point number 15. But we are going to watch all of them in turns and uh, let's go on to see uh, where all our main points are located we are going to start with shoe and more points Shoe point is located on the urinary bladder channel and this point uh, will be called Xin Shu point in Chinese. Uh, to find it, uh, please take uh, one and a half tsun from posterior middle line and find the gap between uh, the fifth and the sixth of uh, thoracic vertebra it's quite easy to find because you've got a shoulder blade as a good uh, point to work with you should find the lower third of your shoulder blade and uh, the lower angle of your shoulder blade will always correspond to the eighth thoracic vertebra and it is uh, like a natural point for you to use when finding biological active points the next point is more point and it's responsible for in energy of our heart channel system it is point number 14 on the anterior middle channel please take two tsun it is approximately four centimeter lower the base of xiphoid process pay attention we are talking exactly about the base of xiphoid process not about the end of it 
and this base is uh, the zone where our uh, sternum is connected to this xiphoid process. You can see we are talking about this point, the base, not the end of it, to find uh, this distance. It is shown on your screen now. Uh, the whole distance between the base of xiphoid process uh, and the navel is equal to 8 tsun. It means uh, it is we should uh, take approximately one fourth of the distance from the upper border. Now we are starting talking about uh, biological active points uh, exactly on the heart channel. The first point on the heart channel is point number three. It is called Shaohai in Chinese. It is located uh, at the inner edge of elbow crease and it can be translated as a point of um, our life joy. It is a very powerful harmonizing biological active point and it's good uh, for working with uh, psycho-emotional conditions. Definitely all biological active points uh, that we are discussing today are sedative and uh, have a positive stabilizing effect for our nervous system. But this point exactly is called Chao Hai and in English it can be translated as uh, a small lake. So the effect of working with this point is similar to the moment when we are sitting at the seashore, at the lake shore, and just meditating, watching the mural like glade of water, and uh, our nervous system is relaxing and is coming down at this moment. Point number four is called Lindau. Like a spirit's way, way of spirit. To find it, uh, you should find the inner line of your hand, of your arm, and find the side of your little finger. All other points that uh, we are going to discuss are located at this line. So you can use your little finger as a natural um, anatomical moment um, to start from which you can find these points. So imagine a direct line from the little finger to the Shaohai point. And in the area of your wrist, uh, there will be um, quite a lot of biological active points and they will be located close to each other. And uh, the, the, the distance between them will be approximately uh, a half of tsun. So it means approximately around one centimeter. So please be careful when searching for particular point, just to be sure that you are working with the point you need. So, uh, point number four, Lindau, is located uh, one and a half soon upper uh, than uh, radiocalpural crease. 
sometimes a person can have a few creases uh, at this zone uh, you can just uh, bend uh, your hand a little bit and you may see one, two or three folds here. In this case you need to find the deepest one and from this crease, from this fold you should start uh, making your measurements. Always do this way if you've got uh, some uh, few folds for any biological active point to find and it will be a good decision in this case. Point number five. It is low point for this channel. It is called Tun Li and it is connected uh, to the inner. It is the meaning of this point. Connection to the inner. It is located one Tun uh, over the radiocarpal crease. It is connected uh, to the small intestine channel by means of a fourth point, but also it uh, provides the connection to the inner processes in our body. It can be stabilizing point and uh, how many restoring point when we are talking about our inner condition. It has a particular connection to psycho-emotional conditions. For example, if your patient says that uh, I just cannot find uh, the right place uh, for me in my life or, or I cannot find uh, a proper position in particular situation, I just don't know what to do, you can use this biological active point. It has a good effect for inner stabilization. The next point is point number six. It is called in C in Chinese and it can be translated as opening in. It is an algatic point and as other analgetic points it is the n most narrow place on the channel and any congestion of energy um, will appear here first of all. So if there is any blockage of energy then you will feel uh, pain and uh, some uncomfortable feelings working with this point. Also this point works well in pains along the course of this channel and in pains uh, connected to the heart area and especially it is good in working with uh, psycho-emotional disorders. It can restore in energy, that's why it's, it's called opening in because it gives us direct entrance to in energy. Next point is point number seven. It is located on the radiocarpal crease at the inner side. Also it is called Shen Main, which means spirit's gate, gate of spirit. It is sedative for this channel and one of the leading um, sedative points for all our body. Uh, you may notice that there is a shen word uh, in its name. It is uh, connected to the shen spirit what we were discussed, we were discussing. Uh, and if there is uh, a shen mentioning in the name of particular point, it means it is connected to our superior nervous activity. And you can use it for sedative effect. It's very good in neurosis, in acute mental states. So just before some important meeting or before exams in students, you can recommend your patients to massage this point. 
or just to massage it slightly. It will work very good in stress situations because it calms down emotions, but it doesn't block uh, super nervous activity. And after working with this biological active point, the patient will be confident, will be self-composed and concentrated. Eight. It is called Chao Fu in Chinese and can be translated in English as uh, Palace of Small Inn. You see there is Shao mentioning in the name of this point and it is exactly connected to the energetic axis, Shao. And uh, this point is the element in the element point. It belongs to the fire element as well as the whole meridian belongs, heart meridian belongs to the fire element. It means that it is uh, a point of direct action of direct effect uh, for this uh, energy system and you should be careful with this biological active point. And mainly it is used uh, to restore uh, psycho-emotional condition. It works fine in any acute processes and it calms uh, down our biological active points. To find this point uh, just uh, look at your palm, bend it a little bit and you'll see a um, lateral fold on your hand. Put your fingers there and between the fourth and the fifth finger you will find uh, our biological active point Shao Fu. So it will be on the fold between the fourth and the fifth finger. Uh, if you massage this point, you can hold uh, it on both sides. It's quite comfortable to massage it in this way. If there is any painfulness or unpleasant feelings, it means uh, the nervous activity um, have some um, impairment it's not the optimal at the moment. The next point, point number nine, is uh, the final point of the heart meridian. It is located uh, on our hand. It's called Chao Chun. It means penetration in the small e. So it is connected with the even deeper level of influence on energy of the heart channel system. If the previous point Shao Fu was an entrance, then this point Shao Chu it is a deep penetration. And mainly it is used as an emergency point when a person uh, has pains in their heart area or any disorder of heart rate. It is located uh, at the edge of the nail root from the inner side. Use it uh, in mental depression, uh, in some syncope situations. Uh, for example, in our Russian tradition it's quite common to clap person uh, on cheeks, at cheeks, uh, then uh, there is a situation with syncope. But in China, they start to massage the little finger and they start pressing this biological active point, as well as uh, the second point uh, under the nose. 
these two points are very good in all emergency cases and they can be used uh, in for example pressing of conditions in patients We should mention following. According to in Yan categories, it is working with the small intestine. And it means that uh, an excess of energy in the heart channel goes through the low point, uh, point number five of the small intestine. Uh, point number five of the heart channel to the point uh, EG4. And if there is any excess of energy in the small intestine channel, then it goes from the low point EG7 to the heart channel, to the point number 7, but it will have only a short-term effect because energy flows along the channel and just uh, in two biological active points it will go back to the same channel. According to the time of um, energy flow in each biological active point in terms of a day circle of energy circulation. It stays at each point for 20 minutes or if there is any excess of energy or some mm, very exciting state to a person then it can be around uh, 10 minutes. So you see, that's why it's uh, not a very long-term effect if there is only two biological active points between uh, the moment then the energy, between the moment when we send the excess of energy to the pair channel and the moment when it can go back. In Ayurvedic uh, terms, it is connected to Pitta dosha and all um, psycho-emotional peculiarities um, which are common for Pitta, they will be common for the heart channel as one of the channels belong, which belong to this dosha. Talking about uh, Chinese pulse diagnosis, we should say that it will be a husband in the pair, husband and wife, and uh, it uh, manages uh, the lung channel. It means that the energy level in the heart channel always will be a little bit upper than in the lung channel. And uh, the heart channel can share this energy according to the husband and wife rule. To do it, uh, you need to work with a um, well famous biological active point. You see, it is C5. Point C5, it is also called Tunli point in Chinese, and number 9 on the LAN channel, to the Yuan point of the LAN channel. It is the way how we can send an excess of energy in the heart channel to the lung channel.
talking about our ties of a hot channel. We can say that uh, sometimes uh, we can work with uh, painful syndromes on our um, tendus muscular channel. And uh, if you watch your hand, if you watch your arm, then uh, there will be a connection between the and some effects of a heart channel. It is connected to the anatomical point. The tendus uh, muscular meridian goes uh, similar to the curves of our main heart channel meridian uh, on our arm. It means that It starts on the inner surface of uh, our little finger and uh, it goes on the inner surface of the hand. Then it goes uh, along the inner surface of our forearm up to the elbow and upper it goes to the area of uh, the auxiliary space. And from the auxiliary space, you can see it on your screen, the blue line it goes to the central line of our body and almost uh, on the chest it repeats the projection of a smaller pectoral muscle then it goes along the middle line and uh, almost reaches the navel it is the area which is connected to the intestine functioning. So this is the zone connected to our small intestine and uh, it responds, it's responsible for our digestion and um, for how we can take all uh, nutrition from our food. The heart channel itself uh, also has a branch to the small intestine because it's a, a pair of yin-yang organs. And it also has a connection to the heart as an anatomical organ. There is a branch going from the heart which comes up to the tongue and then stops at the area near the eye, near the eye orbit. That's why uh, the color of our eyes, uh, the condition of our eyes can also reflect the condition of how the heart channel is functioning. And there is one Chinese rule that uh, the level of Shane spirit can be find uh, can be found out uh, by the uh, shining of eyes, and if our Shane spirit um, is okay, then our eyes will be bright and uh, they will be starry. They will be shining, and it is an indication for us that our heart channel works properly. That's why then making diagnosis uh, specialists always watch eyes of uh, the patient to find out um, how the Shen spirit feels. So eyes should not be dry, should not be dry, they should be bright, starry. It means that this person has a strong desire for life. 
he's starving for life and uh, he uh, has a good potential to struggle against any disorder against any trouble if uh, eyes uh, are not looking in this way then it means uh, you need to work with a heart channel to activate its uh, psychosomatic biological active points and uh, it depends uh, on the energy level uh, which point to pre prefer but uh, please remember that point number five is um, good to restore the spirit condition and to, to restore the shen spirit when working the biological active point of the heart channel. Now there are projection areas on your screen and um, they mostly repeat the course of a channel on our arms and if there are any pains or any unpleasant feelings uh, in the area of our fingers or for example um, not only in the area of our little finger but also on somewhere near the ring finger for example uh, it's also an indication to work with biological active points of a heart channel though uh, it doesn't matter that it starts on the little finger also all the zone on the left side of the chest is connected uh, to the heart channel and all the zone of the left blade on the back can also be connected to a heart channel sometimes but uh, not often as a uh, rare cases projection areas can be located on the right side of a heart channel but anyway if there is uh, a pain under the blade first of all you should check for the cardiovascular disorder and uh, only after that the second thing to check uh, you should uh, examine uh, and uh, to examine the patient to exclude the possible uh, spine disorder so any pain on the blade first of all make sure that it's not a cardiovascular thing and then make sure that uh, it's not connected to the spine two most common cases connected to the projection areas the next point is about projection areas on the face you remember that the mirror of a channel is a complexion That's why it can be one of the signs for you to make a diagnosis of energy level in this system. Pay attention to the color of the face. Talking about specific point for the heart channel, it's interesting that it's common for men and women. You may remember previously additional specific points were different for male and female uh, today. It is the same point. It is located at the border of a hair growth along the, at the middle line of the face. And if there is any uh, local rash, any uh, red color in this area, or maybe some pale spots, then it is connected to the congestion in the heart channel. this zone takes approximately two or three centimeter of the uh, hair part of our head 
and to find out uh, the way it works uh, well, you can put your finger at the border of hair growth, uh, at the middle line area, and then try to move your skin. It should be moved easily. And if uh, it does not move easily, or if there are any unpleasant feelings, it means that there is a congestion and a blockage of energy flow in the heart channel. Then you are moving your skin overhead this way. It helps to restore energy structure of a channel and you can use it um, if you need to work with it. The next is a practical part, as usually. It is especially good to use this uh, method if there are any unstable uh, psycho-emotional conditions in patients. Uh, it allows to reduce meteor sensitivity. It's good in neurosis, in stress situations. That's why you can make this practical launch and uh, you can make this passing of the channel. In each case, then you see a raising of stress indices uh, in the Vedapal software. To make our person of a channel more effective, initially we launch the small circle of energy circulation. So influence the point number three of the small intestine channel. It is the key point of the uh, posterior middle meridian. Uh, then goes uh, up from the sacrum along the posterior middle meridian and uh, continue going up to the upper lip, finish at the upper lip. In detail, we uh, were discussed it in our previous webinars, how to launch the small circle of energy circulation. Well, don't forget to activate the Anterior middle meridian, use point number 7, P7, Luzue, and then goes up along the anterior middle meridian from pelvic area and stop at the area of our lower lip. So you activate small circle of energy circulation this way and then start working with the heart channel biological active points. You work with the channel uh, from auxiliary fossa along the curves on the hand or on the arm from the inner side in direction of our little finger of its inner part. Start from auxiliary fossa then moves, you should move carefully along the course of this channel because there are some major vessels in this area and they are located close to the auxiliary fossa and also close to the elbow fossa, then you should be very careful with your impact in these zones. Continue clipping, move to the middle of, uh, of your arm and each time when you are moving uh, you should uh, 
move the hand just a little bit to a new place that you haven't touched yet and at the same time uh, touch the place that you have already touched. So like each clay pin should be at the zone of a previous clay pin and at the zone, at the new zone that you haven't cleft yet. Uh, and it depends on your personal feelings if you feel that some zones need additional clapping uh, then uh, it can be some specific point which is called Toshi point and even it, if it does not correspond to a standard biological collective points on the meridian scheme but you feel that uh, there is something uh, saying that you need to work with this point then maybe it's your personal individual point. Please work with it. If it's uh, hypersensitive, uh, you can uh, first of all uh, finish your basic clipping um, going up to the little finger. Then you can uh, go back to this point, uh, this Oshi point uh, specific for you. And then you can make a clipping of the whole channel one more time. If we are talking about final points of the heart meridian, then they're located uh, at the fingers area and the fingertips. It's not very comfortable to make clipping here. Uh, you can just uh, massage these biological collective points, uh, just uh, like moving uh, your finger with pressing clockwise at the biological active point and working with these uh, biological active points will allow you um, to raise the activity of a heart channel system to improve blood circulation, psychoemotional condition and digestion Don't forget about month of uh, heart channels activity. Sure, heart channels activity. It will be June, and uh, also it lasts up to the seventh of July, according to Chinese traditions, because there are a small difference in European and Chinese uh, calendar tradition. If you've got um, expert extension or, which is called biorhythms in the VEDAPAL software you can find any active biological active point uh, for the current moment and work with them um, because this expert extension uh, already includes uh, specific uh, algorithms of calculation uh, special open points uh, for this or that moment so if you are interested in it you always can work with it Thank you very much for your attention. Our next webinar will be devoted to the small intestine channel. Please feel free to leave any feedback on our website. Uh, we are eager to work with your feedback and we really need to know what do you think about our educational courses. So don't be shy. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you for your attention. It was nice to talk to you today.